Hi friends, welcome to part 3 of class 10 science chapter 2 acids, bases and salts. So in this part we shall cover the pH scale and the uses of pH in daily life. So in the previous parts we saw that indicators can be used to differentiate between an acid and a base. But if we are given two, indicator, two, uh, two acids then how will we tell that which is a st strong acid and which one is a weak acid. So for this, we need to know the concentration of H positive ions in that acid. For example, if we take two acids, hydrochloric acid and acetic acid that is vinegar, that is present in vinegar, then hydrochloric acid is a strong acid as it has a higher concentration of hydrogen ions. But uh, acetic acid has a very low concentration of H positive ions, so therefore it is a weak acid. So to know the strength of an acid or a base, we need to know the concentration of hydrogen ions in that acid or base. So for this, we use a universal indicator. Now what is this universal indicator? So universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators and it shows different colors at different concentrations of H positive ions in a solution. So for example, if the concentration of H positive ions in a solution is less, which means that the solution is a base, then the uh, universal indicator will have a different color and if the concentration of H positive ions is more, which means that the uh, solution is uh, acid, then the universal indicator will have a different color. Now, we will understand the color change in universal indicators with the help of experiment which we will do later in the video. So to measure the concentration of H positive ions, a special scale known as the pH scale is used. Now what is this pH scale? So in pH, pH scale, the P stands for uh, protens, which, which is a German word and in English it means power. And H stands for H, uh, hydrogen ions. So uh, pH, the word pH means power of hydrogen ions. And pH scale tells us that how, how, uh, what is the uh, concentration of H positive ions in a solution. Now in this scale, uh, this has numbers from 1 to 40 and the pH of 0 means that the solution is very acidic. pH of pH less than 7 means that the solution is acidic and P, if the solution has a pH of 7, it means that the solution is neutral. And pH of more than 7 means uh, alkaline and pH of uh, 14 means very alkaline. So let's understand the pH scale with the help of an experiment. So in this experiment, I have taken vinegar, which is an acid. I have taken water, which is a neutral substance. And I have taken baking soda, which is a base. Then this is a universal indicator. And I have taken test tubes in which we will conduct the experiment. So it, in the universe, uh, when acid is added to universal indicator, then if it is a very strong acid such as hydrochloric acid then it sh shows a very dark red color and as the acid becomes weaker then the red, uh, red color diminishes and it starts becoming orangish and yellowish in color then as it becomes a neutral substance that is pure water then it uh, it shows a green color and as its uh, basicity increases uh, that is it becomes a base then it starts showing a blue color and a very strong uh, base which is uh, for example NaOH it shows a deep blue color. So first I will add vinegar to, in a test tube and now I will add universal indicator. So according to the uh, scale, pH scale, it should show a reddish color. Now let's test it. So you can see that it has shown a reddish color. So now I am adding water, which is a neutral substance. So according to the pH scale, it should show a green color. Now I am adding universal indicator to it. So we can test it. So now we will test it with baking soda. It should show a bluish color. I have taken baking soda in a test tube and now I am adding universal indicator to it. 
so here you can see that baking soda has turned dark green and uh, it has also a bluish tinge so finally we have got these three colors a reddish color for acidic medium a, a greenish color for uh, neutral and a dark green and a dark blue color for uh, basic medium so I hope you are clear with the pH scale with the help of this experiment. So now let's see the role of pH in our everyday life. So first let us see acid rain. So normally the pH of rainwater is near neutral. So which means that it is near 7. But when the pH of rainwater falls below 5.6 which means that it becomes very acidic then this such a such rain is known as acid rain and when this acid rain fl flows into the rivers then uh, then it lowers the ph of uh, uh, of the uh, river water and it makes the survival of aquatic life very difficult so now let's see how ph affects soil and the plant growth so most plants grow best when the ph of soil is neutral that is 7 but if the soil becomes too acidic or too basic then the plants do not grow well so the ph of soil can also be affected uh, by the use of fertilizers so if the farmers keep on using excessive fertilizers then the ph of soil can become too acidic or too basic so such soils need to be treated by chemicals such as quicklime slake lime etc to neutralize them third let us see how pH affects, uh, pH is the cause of tooth decay. So when we eat food, then some food particles remain in our mouth for some time. Then uh, the bacteria in the mouth act on these food particles and break them down. So this process leads to the production of acids and this lowers the pH of the mouth. So normally the pH of the mouth is, uh, is almost neutral but uh, when these acids are produced then the uh, uh, pH of mouth becomes very less. And when the pH reduces to less than 5.5 then the enamel of the mouth uh, of the teeth starts getting corroded and this causes tooth decay. So now let us see the ways of preventing tooth decay. So the first is brushing and cleaning your teeth regularly after eating the food. And second is using toothpaste. So how does this help? So toothpaste is basic in nature and it helps to neutralize the acid, the acid, acidic condition in the mouth and it prevents the tooth decay. So now let's see acidity in stomach. So we all suffer from this problem a lot of times. So the stomach produces hydrochloric acid which helps in the digestion of food. But sometimes if we eat a lot of food, if we do overeating, then excess of acid is produced in the stomach due to various reasons. Then this causes pain and irritation. Now to get rid of this pain, we use bases known as antacids. For example, milk of magnesia, that is magnesium hydroxide. These antacids neutralize the effect of the acid in our stomach and provide relief to, a, to the pain. So now let us see how various plants and animals use pH for their self-defense. So many animals and plants protect themselves from their enemies by injecting acids and bases into their skin which causes a lot of pain and irritation to them. For example, have you been ever stung by a honeybee? When a bee stings, it injects an acid into her body which causes pain and irritation and to uh, get rid of this pain uh, we use a base such as baking soda which gives relief second have you ever been stu uh, stung by a nettle plant the stinging hair of nettle plant inject methanoic acid uh, causing burning pain and to get relief of this pain the re remedy is to rub that area with uh, the leaf of dog plant so this dog plant, the leaf of dog plant has some basic chemical on it and this neutralizes the effect of acid. This is all for today. Stay tuned for the fourth video in which I, we will discuss salts and their uses.